Hello girls and hello boys. How are you today? Happy. Good job. So today we are going to review all the units. Okay, we're going to remember everything and later we will do a worksheet. Are you ready? Good job. Let's go. Now, the first thing we're going to do is a description and analysis of one thing. In this case, we have this thing, which is a plateau. Remember, this is a plateau. This is like a mountain, but it's not a mountain, it's a plateau. It's flat here. All right. And you have to tell me if this plateau is a living thing or a non-living thing. Well done. This plateau is a non-living thing. And is it an animal, a person or a plant? Nothing. It's not an animal, it's not a person and it's not a plant. It's a plateau. Good job. And do you think that it needs water? Sorry, does it need water or it doesn't need water? Yes or no? No, it doesn't need water because it's a non-living thing. Does it need food or it doesn't need food? Does it need food? Yes or no? No, absolutely not, because it's a non-living thing. Does it need air? Yes or no? No, it doesn't need air. Absolutely not, because the plateau is not a living thing. Good job. Now let's go to the red box, to the color red, which is here. Do you think that it needs, sorry, it was born or it was not born? It was not born. There is not baby plateaus. It's impossible. And can it grow or it can't grow? It can't grow. Very good. It's a non-living thing. And... Do you say it can reproduce or it can't reproduce? It can't reproduce. Very good. And it can die or it can't die? No, it can't die because it's a non-living thing. Very good. Let's move on because now we're going to make up a landscape, all right? Here we have got two buttons, the living thing button and the non-living thing button. And there is a screen here and we're going to make a landscape here in the middle, okay? So what do you prefer to to put first a living thing or a non-living thing? Mm, I'm going to choose non-living thing. Okay. Oh. Now I, I have got three options. River, mountain and lake. Because they are non-living things. Mm, what do you prefer? Do you want to choose a river, a mountain, or a lake? Mm, I'm going to choose mm, mountain. Okay, so I'm going to put a mountain here on my landscape. Very good. Now I am going to choose living thing or non-living thing. Mm, living thing. Let's see the three options. The three options are frog, penguin and swallow bird. Uh, what do you prefer? The frog 
the penguin or the swallow bird? It's difficult because we have an amphibian and one and two birds because they are birds. I think I prefer the swallow bird. Fantastic! So now we have got a mountain and we have got a swallow bird. Can you repeat with me, please? We have got a mountain and we have got a swallow. Very good. One non-living thing and one living thing. Now, what do you prefer? Living thing or non-living thing? I'm going to choose another living thing. Let's see the three options. We have got dolphin, Iberian lynx and orange tree. Mm, I like dolphins very much, but there is no water, only one mountain. I like Iberian lynxes very, very much, but I think that plants are necessary to breathe. Okay, so I'm going to take the orange tree. Mm, very good. Oh, we have got one, two, three, four and five orange trees. Now we have got a mountain. Can you repeat, please? I have got a mountain. Mm -hmm. We have got a swallow bird. Mm -hmm. And we have got five trees. Five trees. Good job. Let's continue. Living thing or non-living thing? I am going to pick non-living thing. Let's see the three options. Oh, we have got river, rock and lake. What would you prefer? I think that I prefer river. I'm going to choose river. Oh, now we have got a river. So let's repeat after me. We have got a mountain. We have got a swallow. We have got five trees. And we have got a river. Good job. We have two non-living things and six living things. One, two, three, four, five and six living things. Now, what would you like to choose? Living thing or non-living thing? I am going to choose living thing. Let's see. Oh, a plant. A person and an animal. Mm, what would you like to choose? Dia, a girl or a palm tree? I think I'm going to pick these two deer. Good job. Mm. We're getting a very beautiful landscape, aren't we? So now we have got a mountain. Can you repeat, please? We have got a mountain. We have got a swallow. Mm -hmm. We have got five trees. Mm -hmm. We have got a river. Perfect. And we have got two deer. Good job. Let's continue. Would you like to take a living thing or would you like to add a non-living thing? I'm going to choose non-living thing. Let's see the three options. Oh, we have got a rock the sun and soil. Hmm. 
This rock is very beautiful. It's very similar to rocky. The sun is very important. Do you remember that the sun is a star? Because it's not a planet. It's not a satellite. The sun is a star. Very good. And the soil. It's very important because there is no soil for the plants and for the for the dee and for the river. Mm, I think that the soil is very necessary. I'm going to choose soil. Oh, can you see? Now, we have got a mountain. Can you repeat? We have got a swallow. Mm -hmm. We have got five trees. Very good. We have got a river. We have got two deer. And we have got soil. Excellent pronunciation. Now, what do you want to, to put now? A living thing or a non-living thing? I'm going to choose non-living thing again. Let's see the three options. Rock, pencil or sun. Mm, okay, the pencil is not very important in this, in this landscape. Mm, the rock is important, but the sun is much more important, I think. Yes? So I'm going to choose the sun. Oh, it's very beautiful, isn't it? Now we have got a mountain. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat? We have got a swallow. Mm -hmm. This is a bird, a swallow bird. We have got five trees. We have got a river. Mm -hmm. We have got two deer. We have got soil. Mm -hmm. And we have got the sun. Excellent. Mm, one more thing. Do you want to add a living thing or a non-living thing? I am going to choose living thing. Let's see. Mm, a plant, a person and an animal. Okay, what would you like to add? Sunflowers? A fish? Or a baby? A baby? Here with a deer? Mm, I don't know. The sunflowers? Mm, could be, but what about a fish? Here in the river? Would you like that? Yes? I think I'm going to choose the fish, this goldfish. Wow, can you see? Now, we have got a mountain. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. We have got a swallow bird. Mm -hmm. We have got five orange trees. We have got a river. We have got two deer. Oh, perfect pronunciation. We have got the sun. We have got the soil. And we have got the fish. Hmm, fantastic. Now let's continue with. Oh, Look, it's Mr. Bang Bang. Hello, Mr. Bang Bang. How are you, Mr. Bang Bang? Oh, look, Mr. Bang Bang, a fish. Oh, Mr. Bang Bang loves fish. Fish is his, his favorite food. Okay. Oh, this Mr. Bang Bang is crazy. 
Now, children, it's your turn. You are going to do a worksheet here. This is interactive, so you don't need to take your pencils to write on it. This is a, re a review worksheet about living and non-living things. In activity number one, it says, eh, look and read, order the stages of life of a plant. You have to move the one, two, three, and four to the correct place. You have to drag and drop, okay? For example, what is number one? Plants grow, plants die, plants are born, or plants reproduce. Mm, I don't know. So you have to put number one in the correct place, right? As well as number two, number three, and number four. In activity number two, you've got to choose the living things, okay? You've got to click or tap on the living things, not on non-living things, okay? In number three, you've got to write animal, plant or person. For example, look at the baby. Is the baby an animal? Is the baby a plant? Or is the baby an, a person? The baby is a person, right? So you should write person. You've got to do the same thing for the dolphin, the orange tree, this boy, because be careful because it's not a dog, it's a boy, this bush, remember, there are three types of plant, grass, bush, and tree. This is a bush. And here with a chick. And finally, in activity number four, it says, choose the correct actions. The correct actions. Is making a fire correct or not? Is picking white flowers correct or not? Don't feed wild animals. Is it correct or incorrect? Don't make a fire. Is it good or bad? Feed wild animals. Is it good or bad? And don't pick wild flowers. Is it good or bad? And when you finish, you click on Terminado and you write my email. Okay, you click on Enviar mi respuesta a mi profesor and the answers are sent to me. Okay? So this is all, and as we normally say, see you later, alligator and Rocky. After a while, crocodile. <laughs>